everyone, my name is Sabrina Melodius and welcome to my channel. In today's video we are doing a tutorial. We are going to learn how to make a square basket. So I hope that you will join me and enjoy this tutorial. In my next section I will tell you what materials you will need and then we will proceed to go ahead with the tutorial. So please join me and enjoy. Okay, so to get started on our square basket, we need some super chunky yarn. Well, anyway, I am using super chunky yarn, but you can use any yarn that you wish. I do recommend though that for the yarn you're using that you will have to use a much smaller hook. So for this one, I would normally have to use a 10 millimeter crochet hook, but for the basket, I will be using a 6.5. Let's see if that will focus for me. Come on, focus! 6.5 millimeter hook, which is a O or 10.5 in the US of A. And I will be using a lot of stitch markers as well, and these will be for the corners. So you do need four if you are choosing to use stitch markers, of course. So, um, yes, so if you are going to use a four weight yarn, I would recommend a four millimeter crochet hook because you need it to be very strong for a basket. So for it to be quite strong, you do need a much smaller crochet hook. Okay, so let's get started. Extra little note that I am going to be making a small box. Uh, simply because I don't think I would have enough yarn to make a bigger basket. But so I will make a square box, but I will explain to you how you can adjust the size so you can make a bigger uh, box or basket. Okay, let's get started now. So I will go ahead and I will do a magic ring. But of course, you can do a chain four and slip stitch to the first chain to form a ring. I will simply begin with a magic loop. So I will do that and I will be right back. Okay, so I will do now my ring and maybe I should zoom in a little bit. Here we go. Okay, so here is my magic ring. Right, okay. Now that I've done that, we are ready to proceed with round one. And for, first, uh, for the first round, what we are going to do is eight single crochet. So we're going to start. Here's the first one. One, and immediately I will put in a first stitch marker, not for the corners yet, but just because then we will know where the first stitch is. So we will now do another seven to make eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. And now we are going to um, make this a little tighter. We're going to pull on this to close this hole here. There we go, just like so. And we're going to slip stitch to the first stitch to close this round. There we are, just like so. That concludes the first round. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to work four corners and the rest of the stitches. So we're going to chain one, and this is not counting as anything. Into this first stitch we're going to do two single crochet. So remove the stitch marker for now. and do two single crochet. Here's the first one and immediately I am kind of struggling a little bit because it is a much smaller hook but this is because it's the beginning of this work so there we go. Immediately I put the stitch marker on that first stitch and this is the center of the first corner now we're doing the second single crochet into the same stitch. And now we're going to do one single crochet into the next stitch. And into the next stitch we're going to do three single crochet. Now one, two, in the second single crochet, you will need to put in another stitch marker. And into the same stitch we're doing the third single crochet. And into the next stitch we're doing one single crochet. And into the next stitch we're doing another corner, so it is three single crochet and in the center stitch we will put in a stitch marker. So one, two, and three. And in the center stitch of that we will put in a stitch marker right here. Okay, in the next stitch we need to do a single crochet. So there we are, we have three corners already. So in the next stitch we're doing another corner. So one, two, and three. And in the center stitch of that one we're going to put in a stitch marker, just like so. Okay? okay. And now in the next stitch we're going to put in a single crochet. And now we are back at the start of this round. So in that very first stitch that we did, we need to add another single crochet and that will be one of the single crochets of the corner. Just like so. And we slip stitch to the first stitch. This concludes round two. And this is what it looks like. We have our perfect square. So I will pause and we will start round three. We're ready to start round three. So you're going to chain one, which is not going to count as anything. And into this very first stitch we're going to put in two single crochet. one, replace the marker, and another one into the same space, and two. And now we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Okay, now we are at the corner. So into that corner stitch we're going to do three single crochet. And into the second stitch we will um, put the stitch marker. One, two, and three. And into that stitch right here we're putting the stitch marker. And once again we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. 
So, one. Two and three, and into the next stitch corner or corner stitch. <laughs> We're going to do three single crochet one, two, and three, and into the center stitch. We're going to put in our stitch marker. And we're going to do that all the way around. So you're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches. Then do your corner, which is three single crochet. And then single crochet in the next three stitches. And then I will show you what to do here. So we are now coming to the end of round three. But we still have one more single crochet to do. And that is in the first stitch that we did before, which is right here. And this will conclude the first corner. Now so into here, we're going to do the last single crochet of the round. And we're going to slip stitch to the first stitch that we did. Right here. And this concludes round three, and this is what we have so far. Look at our perfect square. You see, it is perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another round with you, and then I will tell you what you have to do next. So, round four. Chain one. And into the first stitch, you're going to do two single crochet. <laughs> one and two and in the first stitch we were going to put our stitch marker just like so there we go and then we're going to single crochet and next one two three four five stitches one two, three, four, and five. Okay. <laughs> and then this next stitch here, which is the center stitch of the corner, we're going to put in three single crochet. One, two, and three. And in the center stitch we're putting in our stitch marker. Yes, we are. And then single crochet in the next five stitches. Wow! <laughs> two, three, four, and five. So then you're going to carry on with that square. You're going to do your corner here, which is three single crochet. And then single crochet in the next five stitches. Do another corner and then work five single crochet. And I will meet you at the end of this round. Okay, so we are coming to the end of round four, and we just have to do one more single crochet in the first stitch that we made, which is right here. So let's do that. There we are. And slip stitch to the first stitch. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work off camera for a little bit. I might do an extra two or three rounds. So, so far we've done one, two, three, four rounds. And now you can make your square as big as you want. All you have to remember is this. Is you have got to do three single crochet in every center 
crochet corner right here and move your stitch marker to the uh, center stitch and then here every round that you do you have an extra st two stitches so here we have one two three four five six seven so you single crochet in seven stitches and the next round you will have nine stitches and the next round you'll have uh, 11 stitches and so on and so forth until you decide that your square is big enough so I'm gonna work an extra two three rounds and I will meet you at the end of that and then I will show you what to do next I have now completed round seven and I think for me this is more than big enough for my square basket so we are ready to move on to the next uh, phase or is it stage? phase, I don't know <laughs> anyway the next section so what we're going to do is we're going to form like a little ridge here so that the basket will sit nicely just like so we have to work with the right uh, side facing us because it will become the under basket okay all oh, this will make perfect sense when your basket is taking shape so let's carry on and from now on I forgot to mention that now that our square is big enough we will not be doing any more increases we will work purely with the stitches that we have here okay so let's carry on chain one and to form the ridge what we're going to do is work in the back loops only in every single stitch of this round and this will be done only in this round so the first stitch is here and you see how you got the both loops let's see if we can do something with that okay a little bit better here see how we have the both loops as we would normally go through both loops like this well this time we don't want to do that we want to go into this back loop only so into here going to insert the hook in there and do our single crochet and I am going to put a stitch marker because this will mark the beginning of the round so into this next stitch here we will do another single crochet but remember only in the back loop so just like so and into the next stitch we will do the same thing and we will do the same thing all around when you get to the corners you can now take the stitch marker off and just carry on to work your single crochets in the back loops only until you get to the very last stitch and I will meet you back here to tell you what to do next so I now have come to the end of the round and for the very last stitch I'm going to put in a stitch marker just because then I will know this is the last stitch of the round so this is how our work looks so far so I don't know if you'll be able to see the little ridge that is formed right here just like so so now what we're going to do is extremely extremely easy so to finish the round we're going to of course slip stitch to the first stitch and chain one to carry on with this project so now it really is simple what we have to do is single crochet in every stitch and then you will just join to the first single crochet and then chain one and do every round just like so so let's let's proceed and of course none is done in both loops just as normal so 
In the first stitch, we're going to do a single crochet. And a single crochet into each stitch. No increases or anything like that. Just purely single crochet in every stitch around. It really is that simple. So let's carry on a few more stitches. And I think I will let you um, work some rounds. I might do an another maybe two or three rounds and show you my progress and how it should look. So let's do a few more stitches. <laughs> But I think you get the idea that it is simply just a single crochet in every round. I mean in every stitch for every round. Gee, wow. My words are just, you know, mixing together and just don't make sense today. So, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to carry on and do another two or three rounds and I will show you how it is looking. I mean, so far, you can see that it's going to form like a basket. No? So I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so I did an extra five rounds of just single crochet in every stitch. And this is how much I have got left. So suffice to say, I don't have enough yarn to carry on. So I will slip stitch to the beginning single crochet just like so and I am now ready to cut my yarn and I will weave in the ends very very soon so I will now remove the stitch markers and I will show you what the little basket should look like I kind of wish I did my square a little bit smaller because then I could have shown you a little bit better what the basket should look like. But anyhow, so let's straighten up this basket. There we are. I still have all the ends here. So you just need to shape your basket as as much as you can, as well as you can, and it should be nice and square, as you can see. You just have to make sure that you are shaping your corners nicely where it is intended to be, just like so here. You see, here is the corner. Now you're going to pinch the side and form your little corner, just like so. So I am going to weave in the ends and I will be back to show you the actual finished item. So this is what our basket looks like now and I have already put some stuff in as you can see. And I'm pretty pleased with the result. It's nice and square, nice and sturdy and there we are. This is the side. And underneath the basket, you can see the ridge. There we are. Well done for just <laughs> getting everything outside of the basket, right? Well done. Anyway, so here it is. And then you flip it back around and it will sit nicely. Put everything back in here. And there we are. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope that you are very happy with your finished item, whether it is smaller than this box, or the same size, or bigger. There we are. Thank you very much for watching. And until the next time, happy knitting and crochet, everyone.